In the previous lecture, we briefly reviewed some of the common building technologies in Mesopotamia. In Israel, especially in the hilly heartland, different technologies were used. The differences relate both to the building material itself and the cement used to put it together. Rather than bricks, the most common building material in the hills of the land of Israel was stone. This difference is naturally dependent on the availability of the appropriate raw materials. The land of Israel's mountain area is abundant with stone. In the great rivers of Mesopotamia, on the other hand, clay is the most readily available material. A similar difference occurs in relation to the adhesive material. In Israel, this was usually clay, sometimes combined with lime, which was used to strengthen and seal the building. In Mesopotamia, as we have seen before, bitumen was used for similar purposes. This information enables us to properly interpret the second half of Genesis 11.3. And they had brick for stone and bitumen for clay. This verse presents the Mesopotamian building methods from an Israelite point of view. It tells us that those who dwelt in the kingdom that was eventually called Babylon used bricks for a purpose normally reserved for stones and by two men rather than clay. In other words, instead of using stones for construction as was customary in the land of Israel, the Mesopotamians used bricks. And instead of sticking them together using clay, they did so with bitumen. These descriptions demonstrate that the author is familiar with Mesopotamian building technologies, although he presents them from an Israelite point of view. The most fascinating detail he mentions is the burning of the bricks. The very use of bricks was known here and there in ancient Israel, especially in the valleys. However, the use of the more prestigious baked bricks was unknown in Israel until Roman times. The mention of baked bricks therefore reflects the author's first-hand familiarity with Mesopotamian civilization. We have seen that baked bricks were not used for simple houses. The builders of the tower seek to construct an impressive public structure. They therefore invest much capital and energy in preparation of burnt bricks. We will discuss the precise nature of this spatial structure in the next lecture.